Spinosaurus was the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever to stalk the Earth. But most people have never heard of it. Now, our scientific team is resurrecting this monster to try to figure out how it lived, hunted, and killed. Resurrecting a dinosaur like Spinosaurus is pretty difficult, especially when the first specimen was destroyed and we can't even use those original bones. Recently discovered skull fragments reveal that Spino didn't bite like other big dinosaurs. Its teeth weren't designed to tear through armored skin, bone, and flesh like T. rex. Their cone-shaped teeth, six, eight, 10 inches long, possibly longer, sticking out of tremendously powerful jaws, really, really nasty weapons of destruction. How did it shred its prey? The answer isn't in a museum. It's here, out in the croc lab. Biologist Ken Vallit says there are many similarities between Spinosaurus and modern crocs. If you look at this skull as analogous to a Spinosaurus skull, we have a fairly low skull that's elongated with a slender snout and lined with these conical teeth. Crocodilians have the most powerful bite forces of any animals that have been measured. They have a tremendous crushing power in their jaws but they don't have teeth that are meant to tear and separate prey items into, into bite-sized pieces. So if your teeth don't cut it, how do you kill? They can grab a hold of a prey item and go into the death roll. And just by the mass of their body, they can tear an item off of a prey animal. Tearing an animal to bits in a death roll is brutal, yet effective. Spino was way too big to spin, but crocs have another terrible trick. Crocodiles will often take a large prey animal, grab some portion of it, for instance, a forelimb, lift it up out of the water and sling it one way and then forcibly throw it the other way. and the mass of the prey animal tears the limb away. They swallow that, they go find the body and, and do that again. Crocodiles literally shake their prey to bits. And it looks like Spinosaurus used a similar technique. When Spinosaurus got its jaws onto its victim, it would pierce through the meat with those, those conical teeth. It would thrash its skull back and forth yanking out chunks of meat, and as it's thrashing back and forth, that victim's neck could be broken. So between the meat being pulled out and the thrashing back and forth, that victim would not last very long. 